Hey guys, Dr. Spartan. Welcome to another video. Um, today I am doing a little thing. Uh, I don't know if anyone's done this particular thing. Well, it's in, well, most people have done unboxing, but I don't know if anyone's unboxed this uh, this item yet or not, but who gives a flying flip? I got my hands in Walmart on one of these suckers. Don't know what's all inside of it other than what this little strip right here says. Which contains a collectible coin, a Triforce plush, a journal, a drinking glass, and vinyl decal coin bag. But there is an exclusive item. A mystery vinyl collectible inside. So, let's get to the unboxing, shall we? So, oops, I had it upside, upside down. Right. Uh, first thing here is uh, built by Capture, uh, Culturefly in culturefly.com. I got a little fifty percent off thing for uh for other things. Uh if you want to uh, buy stuff from Culture Fly and uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but so far what I've seen is pretty good. I would suggest uh go to culturefly.com slash page slash survey. I will tr uh, be sure to put a link in the description below or put it in the video somewhere. First off, the first item out of this uh the coin box. All right up here you can see where you can put your coins in. It's got a little latch here to keep it secure, and I like the fact that uh, they put the Triforce symbol right there, and then it says Zelda on the back. Now let's open up. Ooh, that was don't have that much opening for hinge part, but and again, it's supposed to look like ooh, it's supposed to look like a chest anyway. I think that's pretty damn cool. Uh, the only thing I would have about it is um, doesn't have that much fill space. You can see right there how high you can get the probably get the coins. But uh, here it's all that bigger space. Uh what am I supposed to do when the coins reach past that? I have no clue. I probably have to sit there have an open blanket or something to make sure to catch up all my coins. But that's nice. And of course I the little plush, Triforce plush, uh TM which trip means trademark and, and um, copyright 2017 by Nintendo because this is an official Nintendo product. Um, that's a little neat. It's got the little Zelda symbol. I might keep that, but that's actually pretty neat. All right, next is the vinyl decal because that's what I'm just pulling out one by one. That is actually pretty neat. I'm not sure what to put that on. I have a clipboard. I have my new laptop. I show, uh, in the last video, I'm not sure I'm planning to put it out or not, but I think I am. I just got to update a bit. I'll just edit it. But do you think I should put it on this? Uh, something behind my behind me there? Again, it'd be a pain in the ass to pull this back off. Uh, you think I just put it on something I can carry around? Uh, I have a few things in the house. So I'll probably make a I'll just say my um need my clipboard, uh, my um, laptop sleeve, or the laptop itself. What do you think would be good on this? Because I'm not sure what to put this on. I'll leave that to, up to y'all in the comments down below. Next is this box. I think it's the drinking cup. Ooh. Um, white box with some styrofoam. Be real careful because if I hadn't been correct, this is a drink cup. I gotta be very careful. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I can. Uh, my fingerprints are gonna go all over this, but you can just barely see right there. I don't know if the camera will capture it, but I don't think the camera can. But it has this. Uh, a Barely visible symbol to the eyes. I don't think the camera's going to capture it, but it has uh, this shield here. This shield and stuff. Shield and sword. On the other side, but, bar but barely visible. That's pretty damn neat. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. And of course, in the bottom, let's see. In the bottom. Yeah, of course, it's going to say Culture Fly Dishwasher Safe. That's nice to know. Is the dishwasher safe in my cup? That's my question. This is a nice cup. Um, I got this at Walmart. It was on a clearance sale. All this here. Next is a uh, journal. Unopened and everything. 
when I first got it, I was thinking, like, opening it, look through it, and it's like, wait, maybe I can show everybody else what I've gotten. Uh, that's pretty neat little... That right there. <laughs> and they even got that on the inside. This might be synthetic leather, I don't know, but it feels nice on the inside, too. And uh, these little borders. Top and bottom, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, what does the back look like? Ooh. Zelda and all that. I think Zelda made by Culture Fly. Oh, this was made in China. No, head show. Oh, no, no, wait, I'm looking at the wrong language. Eh, made in China. It's set in three languages, which is English and two others I don't know. Oh, that's neat. Alright, and of course the back. And the front. That's pretty damn neat. I might use that at some point in time, maybe. Gotta keep my trash all together. Alright. Next is the collectible coin. Let's see if they get closer to the camera. This thing doesn't have a light, it's on. There's the collectible coin. Uh. Don't know. I think I guess it's just be like a challenge coin or something. I don't know. I've never seen any Zelda coins like this before. Uh, but at Walmart, this clear thing. I don't know how long the clear is going to last. Uh, I don't know if it's at every Walmart, but the Walmart I went to in my hometown, they had uh, about uh, after tax was like about sixteen something. I ate that bag considering uh, it was almost like over thirty bucks and shit if you count the tax. I want to look at the back. Oh, put some stuff to bar. Give me. Give me. I said, give me. Ah! I'm really irritated here. Come on, just give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And this is more challenging than my challenge coin to go. No, it's already fucked. At least the challenge coin can get out. What in the fuck? A fudge. Fudge, a fudge, a fudge, a fudge. Okay, there we go, finally. Jeez. I want to look at the piece of paper. If it's just a little decorative background or not, yeah, it's a little decorative background. Damn, this looks like this coin's moved about a bit in here. Oh, what's this out of collectible coin? Warning, choking hazards, small parts, not for children under age three, under, under three years. And it's in other languages too. One of them is Spanish, so I'm guessing the other language is about the made in China thing was in Spanish. But outside, I'm not gonna touch the coin, I'm gonna leave it inside there and maybe it looks better that way. Well that background, it looks yeah, that's oh yeah, it's light more a lot, lot more light coming through. And then you can also actually see the back. But I'm gonna put this little piece of paper. Back in here, this little cardboard, to give it that nice little look. I got a one on this other coin. I don't get that. Is there like more of these other coins up there? Or is it just one? Uh, I'm going to leave this back to us. Now it's time for the exclusive item. I know what it is, but since y'all don't, if y'all haven't got this or anything, um, if I can get this plastic off here. Stupid tape, these stupid round pieces of tape they make. Come on! Uh, 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 give me. God, God damn it, just let me get in. Why is it this goddamn hard? Ah, fuck! Give me that damn piece of tape. Shit. There's no other pieces of tape are struck to me. Finally. All right. Can you actually get it out now? Now I get to show y'all. Back. Side. Side. Under. 
Rupee Wallet Vinyl. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to take it out of the box. Take a look at it. This is a collector set. Never seen a Rupee Wallet. Rupee Wallet look like this before. And this is vinyl. Okay. So it looks like all the way around. Looks like it just sets down like this. I guess that's what it was put to do. Uh, of course, uh, there's a, a, a trademark Zelda logo. One end. Lots of rubies, the blue, red, uh, red, and green ones, of course. Uh, on the back here, oh, let's just say Made in China, the trademark and the copyright 2017, blah, 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 blah. But, real question is. On the front, I get back in there. Oh, huh. okay. So this is gonna stay in its box. I just want to open it up one time, just to show it. Uh, show it to y'all. Wrong way. Come on. Stupid fucking box. Just open the fuck up and let me stick you back in. <laughs> I stuck it in the wrong way. I am smart. No, I'm not. I've been a dumbass. I guess that's how it goes back. This feels like it goes back in. Don't know. That doesn't feel like it how it goes back in. Now that's the only way it should go back in, but maybe like this. And there we go. All right, back in. All right. Um, I'll stick this back in the box. Cut back in here. Challenge coin back in. Uh, self a gel. Yeah. Um, so I don't have a bunch of styrofoam anywhere. <gasps> Woo! Not good. This is something I'll collect. Keep for a very long time. I have a from a friend of mine. I got this Zelda Master Sword from him. I traded in something else for it, which was a fair trade in my opinion. This will stay in here. The journal, the coin bank. And the vinyl will stay in here for now. Vinyl, I do plan on putting something, but I don't know what. That's why I need y'all to help me out here uh, to figure out what I should put it on. Just leave uh, comment down below uh, in the comment section down below, and um, also I'll give you a link to the makers of all of this collectible set, all made possible by Culture Fly. I had to breathe there for a moment. All made possible by Culture Fly. Um, I say Culture Fly, y'all did good. Um, I would say this. Uh, I'll say this for survey, survey for my first survey. So I'll leave the survey thingy back in here. Um, if y'all want to get fifty percent off y'all's first purchase, if y'all haven't shopped with uh, Culture Fly yet, uh, I will leave it either in. Uh, I'll just put it in the link in the description below, or pop it in the video, more likely. But, with that said, uh, thank you for watching me uh, doing this little unboxing thing. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly did. Uh, I was excited. I'm a bit of a Zelda fan myself. I'm not a like, total fan, but I'm a bit of a fan myself. I love playing the games and everything. You're not sitting right. Why aren't you sitting right? You're off a little bit, but who gives a fuck? You're still awesome. Um... Yeah, this, uh, it was kind of obvious for me when I saw, uh, what this exclusive item may be. It was blatantly obvious because the shape of the rupee was very, it was given away, uh, given away right there. So I figured it was a bunch of rupees in a bag. Uh, if they wanted to make it a mystery collectible, uh, vinyl item, they should have kind of just left a question mark on there. They should have just left everybody guessing, wondering what they would get. I don't know. Um, 
I'm going to leave this back on here. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this up at or display it at. I need to make something to display this little sucker. Uh, my only set for now. Because I like my setup. <laughs> I actually do. Um, yeah, but I also have this little thing. Um, oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. I got to put some clear tape on you. I've already put a couple things on the back here. I don't think I can put the vinyl on there. I don't think I can fit the vinyl anywhere on this thing while screwing it up. Um, there's not really much where I can put the vinyl. It's got to be something I'll keep with me for uh, almost the rest of my life or something like that. I would say my guitar. If I think I should put it on my guitar, comment down below. Um... Well, uh, once I get so many comments on where I should put it, um, that I might make a poll. Who knows? But for now, just comment down below if I don't make a poll. Um, I would have to thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you liked uh, stuff like this or anything else, if I should do more unboxing events, I will try to do my best. Uh, I'm not that, that I got lucky with this because in my current financial situation, I don't make that. I don't have much money. <laughs> And YouTube monetization is out of the question for me because thanks to a bunch of bad apples, my monetization rights got taken away along with a lot of other small YouTube channels who have under 100,000 lifetime views. Um, and also thank a lot of y'all that are still here and still subscribed and everything. Um, y'all still uh, have an interest in my channel, which I appreciate very much, even though I, it's been obvious I haven't been uploading for a little while one my Xbox lies out so I don't know if I can even live stream more two uh, I've been having I've been trying to mess with my equipment trying to that way I can better pre be pre bleh, be better prepared to give y'all better videos and stuff uh, I have an Elgato around here somewhere but I don't know I'm thinking probably just doing what I have done before stream my Xbox to my laptop or my desktop and just record from there when it comes to the Xbox gameplay, that I'm talking unless someone knows how I can kind of tweak my computer settings to the Elgato where I don't have such choppy audio, because I did have some choppy audio when I used uh, the Elgato. Um, that could be it, it could be the Elgato, or it just could be the fact that my mic I bought, which is not a very expensive mic, is kind of caved in right there. So it might be affecting sound quality. Who knows? I don't have to... Um, I'm going to find somewhere to put these guys. That makes some space on my desk. And eventually get a better desk. Right now I'm using one of those uh, one of those desks you screw into walls and I'm using my nightstand as the kind of the legs. It's worked out so far. Sort of. <laughs> <sighs> That's nice. This is real nice. So, thank y'all guys, and um, I will see y'all guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.